All right, this will be some of the last videos of Asshole Consulting from Minnesota. Uh, and I'm going to be quick about it because it takes a long time for these videos to upload because of the high resolution. That's I found out with the camera. It's high resolution. Hey, Cappy, please keep this anonymous, but then you want a video response. All right, I'm going to anonymize the hell out of this. I need a reality check on a potential business, a geology business I'd run in tandem with a job in my field in minimalism. The poor ge geology business choices seem to be starting a consulting oil or mining company after earning at least five years of work experience. Unfortunately, these businesses tend to require hiring employees, being on site, seniority, and navigating a slow of legal liability. I uh, never hire an employee. Never. Uh, a better option seems to for seems to be for me to create a. I'm not going to go into the details because you want to remain anonymous. I also don't want to give away your idea. You want to become the the social media geologist, and with your expertise, you'll provide various goods and services. Well, maybe not goods, but services to people in the geology industry. All right, so that's that's general enough. I don't want to mention specifically what because I don't want anybody else getting your idea. Boo 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 boo. Do you think this is a business worth pursuing and around how long should I work at it before throwing in the towel? My biggest concern is who my customers would be unless I'm using, uh, I don't know what I mentioned that. Would my customer base be more complex to attain such as businesses or government agencies? Yeah, you're, you're, um, yes. Like, okay. Social media, making money on social media is, is it's not necessarily, it's easy in one regard, but you have to be consistent, you have to be good, people got to like you, got to have a quirky personality, there's got to be a hook, there's got to be a reason people like you, or tune into you for whatever reason. But if you're trying to contract businesses and government agencies, it's not going to hurt, it certainly isn't going to hurt, if anything it'll be a resume builder, but this isn't like the, the OnlyFans and you show your boobies and guys give you money. It's not going to be a micro transaction like that. It's going to be, you know, $10,000 project, $5,000 project, maybe a $100,000 project. I don't know. And so they're going to be a little bit more uh, tight with the purse strings than, you know, some some sociology major graduate with his, you know, 200000 in student loan debt living at home, jerking off to the prawn, you know, tossing five bucks to his favorite girl on the interwebs. Uh, I know this is, I do know that starting a business can suck up years of life. So as always, your responses are year savings. And then I, uh, I had a couple questions. I said, so your investment costs in this would be a thousand dollars for website programming, etc. cetera. And then he says <clears throat> provided, uh, and it would be, hang on because of the nature of your business idea, you have to subscribe to some products and services. Two thousand, you know, at three thousand two hundred. I get six thousand a year. Okay, you got so you got six thousand a year in operating expenses for just subscription services. Um, let's call it seven with website hosting and email and all that other stuff. Uh, that's not that's not huge. That's not. That's imminently doable. Uh, when I was in banking, the you know we'd have people coming in like, I want a hundred thousand dollars. It's like for what to run a truck. It's like yeah, but you're missing all your teeth and you don't even know how to do basic accounting. And you're operating. It, shoot, you could blow seven thousand dollars in gas alone in a month. So your overhead isn't that much, but it, it'd just be basically an expensive hobby. And here's the other thing, like, you think, well, I'll just do websites and podcasts. Okay, yeah, do that. Do that free stuff. Do that easy stuff. You don't need all these services. Go ahead, do the, the podcast, do the uh, the social media, set up a, a witty Twitter follower, or a, a witty Facebook page, uh, do the, the Instagram, and go run with that. See how many followers you get after, like, three months. Do it regularly. And if you're not catching any traction, then it's probably not a good idea because the only way you're going to get contract in businesses, uh, in business, is if people start following your social media, as like the or your your content creation. And if you don't get any bites on that, then I'd save yourself the seven thousand bucks. So do it for like at least a quarter, three months, 
see where it's going, do it regularly. Uh, but then if, if you don't have like a, a fair amount of people following you, uh, and it doesn't have to be a lot, it just has to be some key people, you know, and, and another good, good quality content, good, write good content, do good content. It's not like you just, hey, it's the geology hour. Let's talk about rocks. Uh, you know, there's, there's something. I don't know. I'm not in geology. I'm not in the industry. Uh, but then after that three months goes by, you'll have a much better idea whether you should drop the seven grand on all these services to offer that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, if you want to drop the seven grand and start immediately offering services, you could do it. Sure. But I don't know if you, you get any clients or anything like that. So there you go. All right. Questions, answers. AssholeConsulting.com. See you guys later. Toodles.